Gia! It's your boy Fist in his house, bringing another great edition of Modern Warfare 2 on YouTube for you because hey, that's what I do. Look at those beautiful mountains. Look at this map. Isn't this map wonderful? What is that? Rocky Mountain High, Utah, Las Vegas, whatever. I love, I love the mountains in the map. I love this map. I love everything on that. I don't like the Kool-Aid on my screen. You can take that and uh, delete that, please. I'll omit that. 86, the del 86, the Kool-Aid. 86, the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> take the Kool-Aid man out. But uh, if I, here's what I was thinking, and I wanted to ask you guys out there. If you were to pick two maps that you wanted to come back, not crashing overground. No, uh, uh, <laughs> no not those two maps. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Modern Warfare 2 maps with no video noise in it. What do I mean by video noise? I don't want to see maps like Rust and Afghan, all this mist and dust and all this shit. It's bad enough that I got leaves and paper flying around on this map. I mean, I, I love this map. If I were going to pick two maps, I would pick this and Scrapyard. Probably some other shorter map as well. But I'll leave that to you guys. Which two maps would you like to see come back in Modern Warfare 3 from Modern Warfare 2? Now, we know that this game, Modern Warfare 3, uh, is right around the corner. So, you, you know, this is how I'm preparing for it. And I've said this in the last three videos, and I don't want to be redundant. But somebody had sent me a video uh, clip of Spec Ops, and it was uh, the T-95. And in hindsight, I look back, and I just worked way too hard in Modern Warfare 2. I, I just went against the grain way too hard. And I just didn't... I, and the thing about it was is I didn't like the way the FAMAS sounded. And this time I'm just going to ignore a lot of stuff. I don't care how it sound or what it, you know, I just have to get I have to get through that. And and that's the thing people are like, "How do you play Modern Warfare 2? It's so horrible." And in my mind I just like tune everything out around me and I'm going, "It's Modern Warfare 3. It's Modern Warfare 3. Like I feel it myself. It's Modern Warfare 3." Like, I can't wait any longer for a new game. Uh, which reminds me, you know, and I've already l released this information. If you don't know, you can look it up. Battlefield 3 Beta officially was announced today on Twitter from Battlefield uh, at Battlefield, whatever, dot com. Um, September 27th to the 29th. September 27th to 28th is for the people who have pre-beta codes, order online, MOH. Everybody else is the 29th. I mean, basically, it's a demo if you think about it. Wait, did you see that drop shot move? Get the get the ketchup off the screen. And if you think about it, it's really just a demo because I mean, it, the, the, it starts the 27th, and ends on the 10th. It's like 12 days. I mean, I know these games have active patching now. If you don't know what active patching now is, it's basically like this. You know, it, when this game comes out, Modern Warfare 3, you got the grip and range on the shotgun and the umph and all that other bullshit. People are going to be crying up and down. And I'm not complaining about it. I'm just keeping it real. And they're going to be mad. And you know what? They're not, they don't have to wait to put a patch on it. If there's enough people bitching in the forums about a weapon, it'll be actively patched and you won't even know it. And the same thing that's happened with Battlefield 3. They don't need demos out. They don't need they don't need betas out anymore. They just, you know, people give you the feedback immediately, and that's it. You played the game two weeks, they should pretty much know what they gotta fix. The great thing is, is like um, I think when the beta ends on the 10th of October, like 11th or 12th, I mean the game's gonna come out VIP, so there's a lot of people gonna have the game like way early. And then the week after that, Modern Warfare 3 is gonna come out way early. You know, that's for the privileged people. I'm just letting you know. I'm just saying. Because, you know, I don't want nobody calling me, no lawyers, none of that. So I'm just going to keep it on the DL just like that. Just to keep, you know, I'm keeping it real. I could have got Gears of War uh, 3 September 4th, but nobody believed me. So whatever. I don't care. I'm doing what I'm going to do, and that's it. So looking at Modern Warfare 3 and another thing, you know, when I look at this game, I'm like, come on, you know, they should do a sensitivity uh, adjustment for... You should be able to have like a sensitivity for like the choppers as well. You run like a 5.7 with, with your weapon, and then you get a chopper and it shits all over the place, and the guy's driving around drunk. You're like, what the hell? But this map I love because it's it's such a great map. I mean, you got this this area where you come up and around, and the guy could be camping in this building. You got every fucking little tree they could be hiding behind, and then you got to come up in this building, 
and, and the whole focus is that these people want to take over the building, and you got to take the building away from them. See, and I hit the damn pillar, and I knew there was a guy camping back there. And I was like, damn it! And I always, you know, and I always carry the AT4 because, I mean, it had a lot of splash damage and took care of uh, campers. Now, I don't know about this game. I mean, you unlock the RPGs, which is level 78, which is ridiculous in Modern Warfare 3. Like, you get two of them. Why is it the last unlock for explosives? Them damn RPGs better be able to rip through everything. That's one thing that I disagreed with in Black Ops. You know, an RPG can rip through a vehicle, but if you got flak jacket on, I mean, it doesn't even kill you. And eat grenade launchers, too. Like, what the hell? It's not fair at all. You don't have super skin on and it's not going to protect you from that that is one of the things i disagreed with um but you can see how powerful like a lot of these weapons are you know once i get tired of using the famas and i do more modern warfare 2 videos but that's all i'm going to be doing um this whole week until battlefield 3 beta comes out i'm not playing black ops no more until black ops 2 gets close to coming out and uh, that's it so you're going to see battlefield 3 beta uh modern warfare 2 and then after that, you might see some Skyrim, Diablo 3 down the road. and uh, But that's mainly what I want to play. And, um, you know, I can't really spread myself too thin and play games that I'm not good at. Because if I don't if I don't like the game and I, I just can't, I don't see the, uh, I don't see the value there, uh, what I guys can, what I can give you. I'm sure there's some people like myself out there. So I picked up the M16. Oh, I was going to hit this guy through the dirt. Through the smoke. Another thing I'd love to talk about smoke. Smoke is so underrated, and uh, it it should be a counter. It should be like EMP smoke. But anyway, that's another story for another day. Hope you enjoyed this game. Please take the time to favorite, like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Fizz. Until next time, peace.